On today's show, I'm gonna do a little bit of a short-term review of the Geek Vape Miro. I know I've recently done a review on it, but there's just a few things that I'd like to discuss with you. Uh, a few things I've noticed over the past three weeks. Uh, a little bit of you know positives and some negatives I've noticed about it. But um, th these are things that you might want to consider before purchasing the Geek Vape Miro. So to start off with. I've never used the original drip tip, not because there was anything wrong with the original drip tip. It's just I just happened to have a 510 in red that works just fine, and I think it looks good, uh, matched up with the Wizmec mod. Um, something you have to note, though, I thought it would be a really a high point, a positive, if you will for this to be a top fill tank as opposed to bottom fill tank. But something I noticed right away was the way this tank is designed, the, the uh, grommet here for keeping it closed, you can't really pull it off with the drip tip in place. The drip tip kind of overlaps, if you can see it. So in order to fill it, you actually have to take off the drip tip and then pop it open to fill it, which isn't a big deal, but I don't know, for myself, I thought it would be so much easier to just pop, bloop, snap, puff, right? It's like an add an extra step. So really, is it any different than the bottom fill tank? Not really, because the bottom fill, you have to pop it off and, you know. Same shit, different story, basically. Right? Okay, and then another thing about this tank is it actually doesn't leak much at all. Shocker, right? Like, all these tanks leak. Yes. But this one actually leaks. Jesus Christ. Circus clown. This one uh, leaks very, very little. So I found that kind of surprising. I don't know if it's because it's a top fill, if that makes a difference. But get a close up here. You can see it's got a little bit of leakage, but nothing compared to like a PNP or definitely not as much as a TPP. But it, it does leak. Not enough where it's going to drip into your clothes or anything, but it's there. It's there. Something I've also noticed, um, I like to use like more citrusy flavors. So some of them actually have like, you know, fruit juice in them. I've gone between uh, grape and pineapple and watermelon over the course of this. And I don't know if you can see it, a little bit of crystallization on a tank. Uh, it hasn't affected the flavor, but it has kind of crystallized in the tank, which is odd because I've never noticed that before. So I don't know if it's just the material that this tank is made out of. Maybe it's made of a different material. Or maybe it's because it's a narrower tank compared to the other ones. So maybe the proximity of the inside of that coil to the plastic, maybe it radiates more heat and it's causing it to do crystallization. I don't know what to tell you, but that's what it's doing. Something else to note about this is the battery life. The battery life of this thing is crazy. And I, I can't explain why. It's it's a 0.4 ohm coil, right? Runs between 25, 33 watts. Yes, I tend to use that 25 watts because I prefer a cooler vape. But that said, this battery with this configuration, e I use it all day. Like I bring in this to work too because it fits perfect in my shirt pocket. I use this all day, every day I've been using it for three weeks, putting it through the paces. And it literally takes almost four days before I have to charge that battery. Four days. And it's not like I'm sipping juice. Like I'm, I'm going through about a tank and a half of juice every day um, on a stressful day, maybe two that the battery life 
that goes along with this coil configuration is insane. It's, it's awesome. Um, another thing, like I was saying, at 25 watts, I prefer a cooler vape. I tried different wattages with this just to see what the flavor, the cloud production, what the difference would be. Uh, the cloud production between 25 and 33 made no difference whatsoever. None whatsoever. Taste-wise, between the 25 and the 33 also made no difference whatsoever. It just made for a warmer vape. And when you got to 23, which I can see why that's the limit, it was actually hot by then. So running it myself, I run it at 25, and it's like, it's perfect. It's a perfect, nice, cool, clean vape all day, every day. Now the reason why I've made this video um, is because sometimes I think people don't believe it when I say my coils last me between three to four weeks. Oh, and depending upon the type of juice I use. So I'm just trying to put it more in perspective that I've been using the original coil from the original video almost exactly three weeks to the day. And the reason why it occurred to me to make this video today is because today is the first day the flavor started to drop off. So tomorrow I'll be putting a new coil in here and I'll be trying a different liquid. So far I've been using a pretty clean, more of a citrusy kind of liquid, very low on the sugar, and it lasted three weeks, which, I don't know, I mean that's kind of on the low end for me. Usually it lasts about four weeks, so who knows. But I'm going to get a more sugary one this next time around, and we'll see if it can make it three weeks on the sugary liquid. But yeah, for this one... I mean, it did good. It was solid, nice, solid flavor all the way through. And then today it just kind of like it dropped off. So I'll be polished off in the, the rest of this tank today. And then I'll be swapping out the coil. Um, something else you might want to take a look at with this. Um, I know the questions pop up sometimes about the mechanical, hybrid mechanical, the thing can work for mechanical no problem whatsoever so if you missed it my first video yes mechanical hybrid you are good to go and then something of note about this is most of these tanks also they adjust on the bottom for the airflow this one does not you adjust it by just twisting the tank up top which is actually pretty nice pretty handy and you think you'd bump it that it would come out of where your perfect vaping air level would be. Nah, this thing doesn't, it doesn't move. I, I pocket all day bumping around at work. Never, never moved. So that's pretty awesome. But it is a little loud. Uh, it's not as loud as like a TPP. But here, I'll, I'll, I'll try and I'll do it for you. I don't know how well that audio came up on the video, but it is, it is a bit loud and it's not, it's not a whistly loud. It's almost like kind of like a sloppy kind of loud. Like the noise it makes almost sounds like the coil's weeping. Granted the coil's not weeping, but it's got that weird kind of like watery moist kind of sound. Here, I'll do it again. Just, it just has kind of like a, I wouldn't say a gross noise, but it's certainly not flattering. Let's put it that way. It's not overly loud, but it is noticeable. So it's just worth taking note. So thank you for watching the video. I know it's been a bit, had some technical issues in the background, had replaced the computer, ended up replacing my phone too. And then in conjunction with that 4th of July weekend where I had way too much to drink, let's face it, way too much to drink. Um, I know it's been like three weeks in between videos. I'm going to try and get it back up to weekly. I had to redo my entire intro 
and my outro and it's you know with different work hours also I got put on a night schedule lucky me so yeah I'm trying to get this back to a weekly schedule but as always you know what to do Later, baby.